they got the bad guy, he's in prison. Um, how do you move forward? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the 10 biggest celebrity kidnappings. After he'd opened the door again, the whole thing had collapsed a bit, and then he grabbed my arm um, and pulled. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most shocking and high-profile celebrity abductions in the UK and beyond. Which celeb kidnapping shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Rebel Wilson when SAS Who Dares Win star Ant Middleton asked Rebel Wilson about her most frightening life experience, he was expecting something fairly tame. Instead, he got an anecdote about a kidnapping in Mozambique. I'm Ant Middleton. I've been trained in tactical questioning, and I'm going to use my skill set to interview my guest, Rebel Wilson. On Middleton's interview series Straight Talking, the Pitch Perfect actress revealed that she was travelling through Africa when her truck was stopped by armed gunmen. Wilson and her companions, all women, were taken to a house in the middle of nowhere, where they spent a terrified night linking arms and fearing the worst. However, the next day they were released, shaken but unharmed. Rebel's guess is that the kidnappers used their truck to smuggle something across the South African border, but we'll never know for certain. Number 9. Alex Band I didn't kidnap myself or beat the crap out of myself. The calling singer Alex Band was walking to a convenience store in the early hours of the morning when he was dragged into a van by kidnappers. When he was found, dumped on the train tracks hours later, he had a fractured spine, broken teeth and bruising from a beating with a police baton. The attackers reportedly threatened Band with a gun and demanded money, only letting him go once he revealed he was going to be a father. I just found out like a couple weeks ago that I'm going to be a dad. So what did they do when you said? He said it's your lucky day and he kicked me out of the car. Some believe the attack to have been drugs related, and as Band had reformed the calling just days before the kidnapping, there was even speculation that the whole thing might have been a publicity stunt. That does seem a bit of a stretch though. So lately, been wandering. Number 8. Princess Anne Queen Elizabeth's daughter, Princess Anne, was just 23 when a lone gunman, Ian Ball, made an unsuccessful attempt to kidnap her. And this man got out of his car and ran back and the policeman got out of his car and he walked around the back of the car. The royal was returning to Buckingham Palace with her husband, lady-in-waiting and bodyguard when a car cut across them halfway down the mall. Ball produced two handguns and attempted to force the princess out of her limousine. Her bodyguard was shot in the shoulder and her driver shot in the chest. Police and civilians descended on the scene, including a former boxer who punched the would-be kidnapper in the back of the head. So I struck him at the back part of the head and he just turned and fired at me. At the appearance of more police, Ball fled. And he then legged it off towards the park and was um, smothered by... I think the local rugby team. <laughs> Afterwards, a ransom note for £2 million was discovered in his car, along with handcuffs and tranquilizers. Number 7. Justin Long On Dax Shepard's podcast Armchair Expert, actor Justin Long recounted a story of the time he was drugged and kidnapped back in the 2000s. They took out a bong and they they passed it to me. They lit it and, and um, I said, oh no, you know, I'm okay, I, I, we, I, I want to have my wits about me because I'm going to play blackjack. At that point in his career, Long was becoming a familiar face, thanks to a few starring roles and his relationship with Drew Barrymore. The actor was still learning how to manage attention from the public, and his kidnappers took advantage of that. He, just, he was saying things like, whoa, whoa, bro, you go, well, sit down, calm down. Karate kicks at my face, oh. and um, the, the, the roommate came out fully dressed, wasn't sleepy. Mm. Oh, boy. And he said, I'll never forget, he said, oh, yeah, you're right, that is the guy. Let me go get my camera. Long was approached in a bar by two guys who peer pressured him back to their condo, loaded him up on drugs, and then took him for a drive. Realising the dangerous situation he was in, Long dived out of the moving car, damaging his leg. He never reported the incident to the police. And they started going back to the towns and suites, tied back to my hotel. And I was somewhat relieved, and I remember thinking, oh, okay, thank God. Number six, Fats Waller. It started jumping, really jumping. Come and check your hands. I beat this, y'all, 
Fats Waller was an American jazz musician in the 1920s, 30s and 40s, best known for his compositions such as Ain't Misbehavin' and his skill as a pianist and entertainer. He even won himself some famous fans. In 1926, the 21-year-old Waller was touring Chicago when he was kidnapped at gunpoint and driven across the city. His destination? The Hawthorne Inn, headquarters of Al Capone. It was the infamous gangster's 28th birthday and Fats was to be the surprise entertainment. Somebody messes with me, I'm gonna mess with him. <laughs> Somebody steals from me, I'm gonna say you stole, not talk to him for spitting on the sidewalk. The celebrations lasted two days and the musician was reportedly paid $100 for every song he played. He was well fed and watered but required to perform for the duration of the party. Afterwards, he was returned to his hotel unharmed. Number 5. Shin Sang Ok and Shui On Hee. <laughs> Shui On Hee was a South Korean actress in the 60s and 70s, once married to famous film director Shin Sang Ok. The film company Shin Film had been gathering acclaim at Korean film festivals. Future North Korean leader Kim Jong il was then the director of the Motion Picture and Arts Division of the government's propaganda department. <laughs> Deciding he needed some fresh voices in North Korean cinema, he had Shuo yun hee abducted as bait for her ex-husband. Shin sang Ok came looking for her and was soon kidnapped himself. After three years in prison, the film director was set to making movies for the benefit of North Korea. Along with Choi, he made films while in captivity, even winning an award. The pair escaped to Vienna in 1986. Number 4. Jessica Alba She's now a businesswoman and charity ambassador with a successful Hollywood career behind her. But Jessica Alba's early acting experiences were blighted by a terrifying kidnapping ordeal. While filming the NBC series Flipper, the teenaged Alba began receiving threatening phone messages. They were written off as prank calls from a lovesick fan, but then Alba disappeared from the set. She was found 14 hours later, tied up in the boot of a car. As the young actress couldn't give the police any details, the case was not followed up, and she has never publicly discussed the experience. Number 3. Chloe Ayling When glamour model Chloe Ayling didn't come home from a photo shoot in Milan, her mother contacted her agency and discovered she'd been kidnapped. I woke up in the boot of a car in a in a zip-up bag. Oh um, my word! And I had so this like, is tape on my mouth and handcuffs on my feet and my. And they took pictures of you. Hands. We now know. The kidnapper was demanding a ransom and threatening to auction Chloe into slavery on the dark web. When the 20-year-old was finally tracked down, the court heard she had been drugged with ketamine, put in a bag in the boot of the kidnapper's car, and driven to a house in Turin. The assailant fed ailing lies about a Romanian trafficking ring, which meant that her story, on returning home, didn't quite add up. Well, um, after a three-week investigation, the police in Italy have charged a man, uh, Lucas Herba, with kidnap and extortion. The press twisted the narrative to cast an accusatory light on ailing, but she was vindicated when her kidnapper was sentenced to 16 years in prison. How has this affected you? How has it changed you? Well, I still am scared. Even when I'm home, I'm not going to be the same person again. I'm going to have a complete career change. It's really affected my life. Number 2. Benedict Cumberbatch In 2004, Benedict Cumberbatch was in South Africa, filming the BBC drama To the Ends of the Earth, but the real drama went down on his days off. While travelling back from an excursion with some castmates, his car got a flat tyre. The group stopped at the side of a dangerous stretch of road and unloaded all of their luggage to get at the spare. Tire blue, we tried to fix it, we got surrounded by these guys, forced back into the car, driven off road, tied up. I was put in the boot of a car at one point, I'd argue my way out, and I was basically kind of seen as the kid, I think the other two were the adults. But before they could change it, they were set upon by armed men. Their wrists were bound and they were driven off in search of a cash machine. 
When Cumberbatch protested, the kidnappers dragged him out and threw him in the boot of the car. The ordeal lasted over two hours, but the actor was eventually released unharmed. They wanted our money and we didn't have cash because we just paid for what we'd been doing in cash and so that was something that probably prolonged the experience. Number 1. Duffy Welsh singer Duffy shot to fame in 2008, scoring the year's best-selling album, three Brit Awards and a Grammy. When I get to Warwick Avenue, meet me by the entrance of the tube. She released a second album in 2010, but disappeared from the music scene soon afterwards. In 2020, Duffy revealed that her withdrawal from the public eye was the result of a traumatic experience. She was drugged at a restaurant, kidnapped and assaulted in an ordeal that lasted for four weeks, and from which she struggled to recover. You can only imagine the amount of times I thought about writing this, the way I would write it, how I would feel thereafter, continuing, while not entirely sure why now is the right time, and what it is that feels exciting and liberating for me to talk. I cannot explain it." Sharing her story and speaking to other victims, Duffy wrote, I feel obliged to explain how challenging recovering truly was, and to finally disclose it. I hope it comforts you to feel less ashamed if you feel alone. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.